And now turning to the campaign trail where Kamala Harris and Donald Trump are blitzing battleground states in hopes of eking out election wins as these polls remain incredibly tight. Political reporter Marsha Kramer here now. She's keeping up with the candidates who have less than a week now. Can you believe it? To make the case, Marsha. Maurice and Christine, <laughs> Donald Trump and Kamala Harris have both made their final arguments. Trump at his Madison Square Garden rally where the ugly comments are still reverberating. Harris last night where she pledged to unify a divided country. In the final days of the campaign, it's all about voter mobilization. Here is my pledge to you. As your president, I pledge to seek common ground and common sense solutions to the challenges you face. This election is a choice between whether we'll have a four more years, think of this, four more years of gross incompetence, the most corrupt, horrible people. These are horrible people. Oops, we should get along with everybody. They're horrible people. As the campaign entered its final days, Kamala Harris and Donald Trump kept to their closing argument scripts, trying to mobilize their voters as polls remained incredibly tight. This, as a new CNN poll, gives the vice president a narrow edge in two of the three so-called blue wall states, Michigan and Wisconsin, while she and the former president remain tied in the third, Pennsylvania. In Michigan, it's Harris 48, Trump 43 among likely voters. In Wisconsin, Harris 51, Trump 45. And in Pennsylvania, Harris 48, Trump 48. Pennsylvania is important given the recent controversy over hate speech regarding Puerto Rico at the Trump rally at Madison Square Garden. There are 320,000 registered Puerto Ricans in Pennsylvania. For Trump and Harris, it's all about the battleground states. Michigan, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, Georgia, Arizona, and Nevada, which have 93 electoral votes. 270 are needed to become president. That's why both candidates made stops in Wisconsin and North Carolina. Right now, it's time to go out from here and knock on some doors. Time to text and call some voters. Time to reach out to family and friends and classmates and co-workers and neighbors. I'm asking you to be excited about the future again. You have to be excited about it. We, we have a great potential. Uh, if we have to go another uh, two days beyond that term, we're not going to have a great... We have to get this done now. And here's why success in the three blue wall straits is so important. Donald Trump won all three in 2016 when he was elected president. Joe Biden won all three during the last election when he defeated Trump and entered the Oval Office. A lot riding on this. In a way, it's the whole race, Marsha. It is. Thanks so much. Thank you, Marsha.